you're not a native English speaker and you have your own local language, but which language to proceed with on your YouTube channel is a real struggle intellectual space while designing the strategies of the YouTube channel. Hello everyone, this is Hamza and today we are going to talk about which language should you choose for your YouTube channel. If you want to create video, you have already decided that now I'm going to have my own YouTube channel and this is the last stage that you will use. You have content in your hand, you have your target audience, but you want to finalize that which language is going to be more beneficial for your channel. First of all, if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel as we have a lot more to discuss about YouTube, YouTube automation, how to grow your YouTube channel and a lot more things. So do subscribe to my channel, follow the videos, you'll learn a lot. So this is the most frequently asked question. When I was also starting my YouTube channel, I was stuck with the same question. I posted it on Quora or other platforms and I later realized that a lot of people with me were asking the same question that which language we should actually use for our YouTube channel. I received responses, but those responses were not satisfying. So this is how I created the entire statistical analysis of YouTube and your target audience. Let's start this process very logically. First of all, we are going to pin our point on content creation. If you are a content creator and you have already found your niche, now define the terms of your content. First of all, there are two types of content on a very broader scale. We can divide them on two. One entertainment and the other one is educational or the learning channel. If you are going for educational channel, you should know that a lot of educational manuals, leading softwares, computer systems, books are majorly designed in English language. So the main contrast we have among languages while designing a YouTube channel is English or our local language. If you're having an educational channel, as we know that we are learning or proceeding in an English medium environment and English is the most easiest language to convey your message to a mass public, to mass audience. If you want to cater more and more people internationally, you can use English as your major language. So first of all, we decide that if you're going for an educational niche, so that niche will be good to be covered with an English language. Let's put our site on the other end. We are having an entertainment show. If you are proceeding with an entertainment niche, you want to entertain people. So remember that people go for entertaining content when they want to relax. When they want to feel free and they want to enjoy their leisure time after having a hectic day, they're finally having their phone, their, their, their desktop, their LEDs on with YouTube entertaining platforms or YouTube entertaining content. So remember, there is one effect. If you are a non-native English speaker and if you're watching something in English, you have to put concentration in it. You cannot just subtly watch English content without focusing upon it because you've got to understand what they're saying. So entertaining niches are better to be covered with local languages. Entertaining niches can cover travel blogs, tutorials, hacks, or other things that are actually meant to entertain people to make them learn in a very friendly environment. Educational vlogs are pretty formal, are pretty very well focused on a particular concept and that has to be explained. Another thing is that if you're going to use your local language to educate people, so it is important that whatever you are educating to them must have to be in the same language. For example, I have decided to educate people for making money online for digital marketing and I know that major digital marketing platforms are working in English major making money online websites are working in english the content available on internet is in english so if i'm going to explain it to my people in local language they would have a real struggle in understanding the concept that i have explained and to practically imply it on the platforms there that are actually working on it however if we are going to go through the stats of youtube there are hardly 30 person audience members who prefer content to be in english language but they're very, very consistent and dedicated towards the content. They're going to follow everything that you're going to post. They're going to learn from it because they are present there for a purpose. So it's upon you, the niche that you're going to decide. On major level, we have divided our content in two niches. One is entertainment and the other is educational. But there is a third type of content where you don't really need to have any vocals on in your videos. For example, there are a lot of videos that people post for routine blogs and they have really calm music in the background. So they don't really speak for it. They hardly post the subtitles in the videos. So those subtitles is present in the video for both languages, their local one too and English too. So these type of videos may count DIY vlogs, travel vlogs, study with me vlogs, or a day in the life of a routine of a certain student worker or a professional. So these are the videos that require less vocals and you can use 
preferred language, the, the language that you want to continue with. Channels like entertainment, news, comedy, vlogging. These are the channels that have a strong language preference. Finally, we talked about the statistics that go with languages, but here my preference and suggestion will be for English language. Basically, we are going to enter in a certain market where already competing channels will be practicing and posting the videos. So how about making it less competitive for you by standing out in front of other channels? How can you do this? Entertaining channels, vlogging channels, or even educational channels are posting videos in your local language. Try posting it in English. I'm not specifying English as your major language, you can use others too. But as compared to overall YouTube share of languages, English as one language has the most share of 30%. The rest 70% is occupied by different languages because YouTube has localized itself in more than 80 countries with 80 different languages. So among all of those languages, English has the maximum share. So if you really want to stand out in your country, in, in the content creation of your niche, you can post your videos in English so that your audience will also have international exposure. Second benefit is that if you are really willing to increase your monetary benefits, English is still preferable. Why? Because English has international boundaries too. So your video might have views from international boundaries too. For example, your video is being viewed in Australia, in USA, in UK. And remember that Australia has one of the highest CPM for thousand ad views. Your CPM will relatively go higher. So these are the reasons I might suggest you to post your videos in English. But if you have your content very defined, your target audience is defined, you have your niche very particularized in your local language, I would suggest you to go with your local language. So if you really enjoyed this video, if you really think that this video helped you, do subscribe to my channel because further are more interesting videos coming for you. Thank you for watching this video.